Hey there, it's Tank Girl. I'm here in San Francisco with Crystal of Lucy. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Hi, Marin. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, what do you do? Who are you? Tell us everything. My name is Crystal. I'm the EVP for Lucy. And uh -huh. uh, I'd like to introduce you Lucy Immerse. It's one of the dis best displays in the world. All right. So you put this on your face to get experiences and content and videos and VR, correct? That is story too. Look how small it is and so sleek and fashion design. So you can easily take this anywhere you go and it allows you to watch all type of contents that you would prefer. So there it is in the box. Do you want to show it to us? Of course. So this is a, a leather made luxurious box that we offer. And uh, if you take a look at the hardware, the main body is only 180 gram and is super lightweighted. All right, so here you can see the lenses, right? Yeah, so here uh, it uh, features a dual micro OLED display. Okay. And uh, it really allows you to watch the content in over 3000 PPIs. Wow, so what's the resolution on the displays? So it's 1080p dual display. Okay, great. And they're very, very small OLED, right? It that's is that's very the, what's small very OLED. unique about your technology compared to other things. That's totally true. And so, just to be clear for the, the, the people watching the video, these, this is not a VR or AR headset. This is purely a display, correct? I would consider this is as a multimedia uh, hardware for you to watch not only traditional contents, including 2K, 4K, 180, 360 contents, but you can also play some uh, light VR games because it has uh, street off. I mean, it can be used for VR, but itself does not have any compute power. It is a display. It is the best display. Right. You... And that's what's critical about it. It's the best display. That's correct. So I don't see anything to put it on your face. How does that work? Oh, it's quite easy. So we put it this aside and uh, it's easy for us to get to work on your face. So it has three different ways of put it on. Okay. And the first one, this is what we call the crown design. Uh -huh. And as you can see, uh, we can easily put it up in less than 10 seconds and you can just wear this. This is one of the very comfortable way of wearing a device. And it blocks light, so it's really good for like if you're in a, like in an airplane and the lights are on or something and you want some privacy. That's yeah? totally true. It completely blocks the lights and it's also very easy, still very slick design. So you can wear it anywhere you want to consume the contents and it's quite easy. Fantastic. So that's one way. What's another way to use it? So as you can see, this is another design and uh, this is called the glass design. Right. And, so this uh, more looks more like a pair of glasses, basically. It looks like a pair of glasses and uh, it can be easily put into one of a small pack or you can even put onto a man's jacket. Right. It's can you um, show us all the different ports and the different things on this device? Sure. Here is where you uh, up adjust your IPD so everyone can adjust. The interpupil distance, correct? Interpupil distance, fantastic. <laughs> and this can allow you to have the best viewing experience. Right. Uh, to it basically adjusts it to this, the, the distance between your eyes. That's very true. Yeah. And here is a USB-C. It allows you to either tell it to your so computer. right there, yeah? Yes. Either allow you to tell it to your computer, tell it to your iPad, or your phone. And I see a headphone jack on this side? Here, absolutely, yes. Any headphones that you can use it with uh, right. this headset. So to be clear, the um, the connector, the USB Type-C, you're basically using this as a display port? Yes. Okay. So you're sending audio and video through USB-C from a phone, a laptop, or an iPad, USB Type-C iPad, like a pro, and sending it to the glasses. The glasses then decode the audio and send it out to the headphone jack. And then you, you can wear any headphones of your choice or earbuds of your choice. Absolutely. Great. And so it's very small and light, right? That's the one thing. The, 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 the key here, key selling points are it's really small, really light, and super high quality displays, correct? That's really true. Very slick design and very comfortable to wear it, wear it and uh, no screen door effect at all. So now you, you said you're not shipping this in this box, obviously, when, when you ship. Um, what will be in the box? When you, you get, will you get both of this and the glass setup or will you just get one? 
Um, so we would offer our consumers different sets. So uh, it not only have those two designs, it also has a band design, which uh -huh. we're not demoing, uh, demoing today. Um, so our consumers can pick uh, which one they would really prefer. And also included in the box, it would have this USB-C that really allow you to... Yeah, you'll get a cable, a high quality display port course. compatible cable. Yes, right? and you will definitely, if it's a crown design, you get this uh, crown. Uh, like everything that included here as well. Right. And so I tried this out in uh, in Austin, Texas when we met at South by Southwest. That's true. And I was really impressed with the image quality. What is the secret sauce? How are you able to get that quality? So basically, it really differentiates us with all the other wearables in the market right now. Uh -huh. is, uh, here features the dual micro OLED display. Right. And that's so, really the patent, the unique thing you're doing. That's right? very special because that allows uncompromised visual quality and all the current uh, PPIs in the market for the other devices are in between 600 to 800 uh -huh. and this one really allows you to have no pixel density. Uh, so yours is 3000 you said? Over 3000 Over 3000, wow. It's insane. So no screen door effect at all yeah. and that's really the secret source for you to watch contents for over like two hours to really consume a movie as you go. Right, that makes sense. So the first application is obviously using it with a phone and, and headphones. Do you have some sort of app or anything like that that is available on the yes, device to kind of optimize the experience? So uh, every day for us, uh, we usually watch contents from YouTube on a daily basis. Right. And Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Amazon Prime Video, those are the subscriptions that we already paid our money for it. Right. And uh, it, you definitely can consume all those contents uh, through the Lucid Immerse. Right. So show us, like, are you just using the YouTube app or are you actually just, do you have an, like, your own kind of gallery app that you go into? We have a, a own gallery called Lucy Home. Okay. And we are actually uh, making our best effort to build our own content platform. Why don't you plug it in and I'm going to try with the camera here to see at least one eye of the display and we can maybe see some content. Sure. Uh, which application you would consider? Uh, let's do YouTube, right? YouTube. Because okay, sure. <laughs> everybody loves YouTube. So this is a YouTube video that you're about to play on the display, right? And it's connected right now. It's already connected. So, so we might be able to see it. I'm going to try um, to bring it in. But there you go. Look at it. You can see it in the display. Now, of course, you know, you can see the quality here. Look at this. It's amazing. I mean, I'm filming at 1080p, and you cannot see any screening. It's very, very impressive. So, obviously, I can't wear this on the video, like, for the people watching the video. Mm -hmm. So, trust me on this. This is why I wore them in South by. It's really quite impressive. The question I have for you is, um, what other... So, the tell me a little more about the app, because it's interesting to me that you have, like, a hub. Um, what's your goal with the hub? Obviously, I can just use YouTube directly on here. So what was kind of the idea behind creating the app? So as you can see, the display itself really delivers uh, amazing experience for consuming contents. Right. But um, due to various reasons, probably uh, due to the internet or the other reasons, while we're using the streaming platform to watch contents, sometimes it downgraded to 720p or lower resolutions. So the experience that our consumer get is a little bit compromised. Right. That's so you're trying to basically have a player that can correct, connect directly with the content providers to provide the highest quality streaming That's totally and not true. rely on the application's optimization. Because all these apps, obviously YouTube and others, Netflix, they're created to be used on the phone, right? That's and right. they're like, well, if the connection degrades, they degrade the quality. You know, they also know that the most phones are the best quality is, you know, 1440p. Uh, and so they, you, you could potentially watch, you know, uh, 4K to the content. That's very true. With, with that quality on your display. So that's why you have an app. And you, so you're working with some content providers? Yes, we're actively uh, getting the most favorable contents on the platforms. And once we have that uh, completed, then we will definitely put the press release app. Fantastic. Yeah. So now you have a couple of other devices to show me here. Um, you have a, uh, Computer. a laptop right. and an iPad. 
Once this connected to the laptop, it automatically triggered the Lucy Immers uh, application. Yeah. And by using the laptop. So you also have a Windows application, uh, like a, a hub for the for the PC, right? Yes. Got it. So once it's connected, uh, this would really allow you to watch a movie in uh, a complete three D environment. So Got it. we also viewed. Uh, a Lucy home while you were seems like you're sitting inside of a virtual cinema. Yeah. Or a VIP cinema. And I experienced that. So you the idea you had was that since some content is just 2D or right, it's prob and and people feel a little uncomfortable when it's too immersive, you decided to kind of build a virtual theater. Yes. Rendered as yes. as a three D as a as a VR render. Yes. Uh, generated by the laptop, and then that theater is projecting the movie just like you would be in a real theater, and you can see like the the stage and the sides. And I saw that that was really interesting. So th theoretically, as, I suppose that at some point in the future, you'll be able to support uh, watching with other people ne next to you, like friends that's or whatever, and have avatars or something like that. Yes, that's uh, that's also the areas that uh, we put in our future development plans. So we would find it would be very interesting that you don't need to go out to the cinema. Right. I can hang out with you, watch a movie together. We may potentially even comment on the movie right. while we're using Immerse to watch a movie with the same uh, experience that we got in the cinema. Fantastic. And so this yeah. is the app right here on the laptop. It's called, and this is, you, you can see the name Lucy up here. Um, so obviously we can't see it in the glasses with the video, but, but we, we have a monitor. You, do you here? have a monitor? Ah, yeah. I'm using Unity. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's uh, we can see what's actually inside of this. Uh... Great. Aha. So this is the virtual cinema, and I can make it really big. <laughs> yeah, make it big, us, and then uh, we can like different. you can pretend to move the glasses, and we can have yeah. a look. So this is the th the theater. Right. And you like if you look to the so, side, yeah. See, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. So, so, so as you move around right now, it's like showing you the virtual theater. And so you have sensors in the headset, correct? Yes. That are talking over USB Type C yes. to the application on the on the on the laptop. That's absolutely true. And we also have a remote control also included in the package that will allow you to easily. Center the movie because as we move, we yeah. actually move you might lose. Your, yeah, I you see. You might lose the focus. But yeah, yeah. See, using the controller, you easily just adjust to the center. And this is a, a VIP cinema set that uh, we're sitting with our family members, our friends, watching a virtual movie like together. Fantastic. So tell us about the iPad experience as well. Sure. How does that work? No problem. Do you have something custom for the iPad, or is it just basically treating it like a phone? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, iPad, we, you can also watch all kinds of different contents. I think we can try a uh, Prime video. Okay, sure. How about uh, see the Iron Man play trailer? So here. So inside. I can't obviously see what's in the screen, but um, so the. You can maybe try. The app automatically. The it automatically. Um, it automatically streams to the glasses, or do you have to install any software for that to happen? Oh, this is just automatic. So it's just mirroring, correct? Yes, it's yeah. mirroring. All right. Similar okay, so basically everything, what we're seeing on the screen right now is what's coming out. Yes, yeah. exactly. Do you also have a software app for iOS like you have on, on Android? Uh, it's the same app right. that okay. we can use. So you have an app for iOS. Yes, okay. uh, and on the, also No, the reason I'm asking is because obviously iPads uh, Pros are the only one with USB-C right yes. now. So this would not work on an iPhone yet, but right? But it also work with the uh, MacBook. Okay, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks so much for the demo. I really appreciate it, Crystal. Um, this is a really great product. Uh, and uh, can you tell us before we finish, when will uh, the public be able to buy this? So right now we are offering a uh, exclusive package in the Indiegogo. Uh, how and, much? Um, so it ranges in between four ninety nine uh -huh. and up to uh, a higher price amount. And depending on what accessories you want, yeah. De depending on what kind of package you want, and yeah. do you want it to, uh, to have a, a different setting? So we have all different options. Then you can check it out in the Indiegogo, and also we are able. Uh, we are planning to deliver on the prefall.
to all our consumers. Okay, and so what uh, what are the dates? What are, when can people expect if they back you to get the product? Uh, we expect to be the early August. Early August. Okay, so early August, starting at four ninety nine on Indiegogo, and I'll put the link in the video description down here. So you guys have no excuse if you're looking for the best, uh, you know, immersive video experience in the world. Lucy, right? right? Yes. All right. Check us out. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks so much, Crystal. Take Thank care. You.